All right, good morning. Day 15, uh, March 8th. A couple other guys, young boys came in here, camped with me last night. They got in here about you know, a half hour before dark. We had a nice old campfire last night and talked a little bit. One boy, he's from Ohio. And uh, so anyways, I'm all packed up, getting ready to roll out of here. I got my rain gear on because it's supposed to rain on and off all day. We got rain at 8 o'clock, cloudy 9 o'clock, rain 10 o'clock, cloudy 11 o'clock. <laughs> I'll wear this till I get hot and sweaty, and uh, if no rain comes, then I'll go ahead and pull the jacket off. And kind of play it by ear today. We'll see what happens. All right, we're getting out of here. Hey, everybody. About uh, two hours into the hike. Just not a whole lot to video today, so don't be uh, too disappointed. We don't have much to show. Uh, well, I can swing around here. Hold on. <laughs> See that fog out there? I mean, it's just been, been raining on and off, sporad on and off sporadic. Uh, got this damn rain suit on. Frog Dog Ultra. But uh, they're light, yeah. But I'll tell you what, it's like wearing a sauna. So, you get these big climbs. Even the gradual climbs, and you know, you put some effort into it, and your your clothes, you're just, you know, you're sweating. Humid, it's just like so humid in there. So taking a lot more breaks, especially on the climbs. Taking everything slow, so I don't uh, build up sweat and end up getting saturated with my rain gear on. So that's the game plan for today. Uh, something comes up, we'll definitely. Uh, include you in it but uh, for now it's just kind of slow and easy and you know it's just one of them days rainy tomorrow I think seems supposed to be worse it's supposed to be more like thunder showers so I'll check the uh, weather here in a little bit you know before I uh, decide to camp down or shelter down for the night so we'll see what's coming all right anything else comes up I'll Include y'all in it. Alright, I just want to show you. Look at that ice. These are steps. All the way down, ice. That's the kind of stuff that'll hurt you. Uh, those, they put these logs there to retain the dirt for washout. And, uh, you know, give the hikers a nice little step. And uh, trail maintenance people do this. They work hard for this stuff. But you look at that ice. These logs have ice on the edge of them. So I'm walking to the side here. I'm not even using steps. But uh, that's why you got to watch those logs. That ice is clear. It's a thin layer. And you step on the edge of that log to step off. And uh, next thing you know, your foot is out from under you. And uh, you're on your back. You can hit your head. Uh, <clears throat> very dangerous. Take it slow and easy. All right, everybody. <laughs> Here's a view. Yeah, man, it's just one of them shitty days. And, uh, Cold, colder now than it was when I woke up this morning. All this fog, and cold air came in. Tomorrow's supposed to be up to 60, so I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe this rain will let up a little bit. I, I really don't know what's going on. It, it, as far as I can see on the weather, it's, it's raining on and off all day long. You know, it might rain a half hour, it might quit. It might rain a half hour, it might quit. Again, these rocks have a thin, thin layer of ice on them. So, anybody coming behind me, I doubt if you're watching my video, but anybody for future, make sure to pay attention. All right, everybody, still raining. Uh, I wanted to show you. There, 
Uh, a lot of people watching the video have already walked the you know, Appalachian Trail or uh, done some hike, hiking on it. Anyways, there's a lot of people watching, family and friends that don't. And uh, a little lesson on the white blazes. One white blaze is telling you you're on the trail. One straight above the other is telling you the trail goes straight, which means there's other trails coming in, but they want to tell you to go straight. This one, the top one's to the right, is telling us that the trail is turning right. And if it was over here to the left, it would tell us the trail is turning left. So, just a little quick lesson. But the main reason I got the camera out is uh, put on another view, but uh, it's kind of neat. The uh, trail maintainers, who by the way are, I think, mostly all volunteer. So, you know, you really got to appreciate the work they did. Uh, you know, this tree they, that had fallen, they, they cut it and they put the uh, AT symbol in it with a chainsaw. Kind of neat. Anyways, as I said, it's not a whole lot to share today, so we'll take what we can get. Uh, still raining and trying to get down right up top, headed down towards NOC. I don't know, maybe another two miles to NOC, and I'm going to camp. Might even be three. But this is the way down. <laughs> Kind of scary. Shitty, wet, scary. Yeah, I remember this last year. I think there's actually one rock just ahead of us. You almost got to sit down and kind of slide down. Taking my time, as you can imagine. Oh, it's just been a miserable day. <laughs> rain, 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 sleet, and some hail. We've had rain, sleet, and hail. We've had it all. No sunshine, there. absolutely not. Alright. Ooh, that's slippery. I'm gonna shut this off till I get to the bottom and we'll uh, start back up. Alright. Got down there. And then it goes over here. Some more steps to go down. And I cannot even imagine coming down this thing with ice on it. And I'm sure yesterday there was ice on it. If not the day before. Alright, let me shut her off for a minute. I gotta shut the camera off, get down. Alright, we're back live. We just came down off of there. Headed this way. You hear a little grunting in the background, that's me. <laughs> Some of these little stretches for steps aren't exactly uh, 8 to 10 inch. Alright, that's where we come down from up there.
Yeah, and that's pretty much the rough of it. But uh, hey, we're riding this ridge coming down off the very, very tippy top. I got a valley on both sides of me. I'm just running the ridge. But we're getting ready to drop down over there. It's steady downhill then all the way to the NOC, which, like I said, I'm not going to hit tonight. But uh, I'll hit it first thing in the morning, probably by 9 o'clock I'll be there. All right. At least we got to share something with you today. Some death-defying maneuvers to uh, get down. All right. Uh, well, well, we're uh, just about ready to head down, like I was saying, but, uh, and I tell you what, that damn water, finally made it through these damn frog togs, my pants are soaking wet, shirt soaking wet, and, uh, you know, I can't wait to get my damn tent up, strip out of this wet stuff, and slide in my damn sleeping bag, warm up a little bit. And I think in my uh, front porch of my tent, I'm going to crank that stove up and make me some hot chocolate. <laughs> Man, that sounds good right now. A cup of hot chocolate. But I probably still got at least another hour. Maybe more. I, I haven't been able to get my phone. It's in my side pocket of my pants. <clears throat> and I'm getting ready to get it out of there. That and this camera and put it in my backpack because the pants are just too wet. All right, we'll catch you night camp.